About one month ago, the Linux part of Tomb Raider 2013 was released. I think it's time to check out the performance of the Linux version compared to the native Windows version. The system I ran these benchmarks on consists of an i7-4790K that has a mild overclock to 4.5GHz supplied to it, an ASUS Trix GTX 970 that I'm running at stock speeds for these benchmarks, and 16GB of RAM. I also used the newest NVIDIA drivers that were available on Linux and Windows. Let's get into the benchmark results then. In the background you will see the benchmark running and in the, fo in the foreground we'll discuss the average maximum and minimum FPS numbers that were achieved. I did this benchmark for the ultimate preset and also for the max settings. That means that we pushed every slider to the far right and cranked up everything close to the walls. And this especially meant that we went from FXAA in the ultimate preset to the 4x super sample anti-lacing setting in the maximum settings. And as you can see right off the bat in the Linux FPS numbers, this super sample anti-lacing had a tremendous effect on performance. It basically cut our FPS in half, as is to be expected. But first let's look at the numbers in general. For the ultimate preset we get an average of 51 FPS and for the max settings 28 FPS. Both look fine in a vacuum, but things get interesting once we compare that to the FPS we achieve on the native Windows version. On Windows, using the ultimate preset we achieved 88 FPS on average and on the maximum settings we achieved 44 FPS on average. And that is clearly much, much higher than the FPS we achieved on Linux. And that's a bit disappointing to me because that port seems to be not that well optimized. I mean, sure, Tomb Raider is a native DirectX game that has been ported to work on OpenGL and therefore performance is not as good as on Windows. And on the ultimate FPS, on the ultimate preset, 50 FPS is that's totally acceptable. If we look at the FPS difference, meaning the percentage of the Windows performance you get on Linux, we see that using the ultimate preset we get around 58 to 60 percent of the performance and on max settings yeah we get around 60 to 65 percent of the performance of Windows when we are running Tomb Raider on Linux. Okay so what that means is if you have a capable computer you'll be fine running it on Linux but you can still expect better performance on Windows at least for games that have been natively developed for Windows. I'm going to do what I did for Tomb Raider here. Also for Doom, once that comes out for Linux and once the Vulkan support has been patched in. I'm really really curious on how that one performs because Doom runs exceptionally well. It's really astounding how well that game is optimized and how well it runs. Quite astonishing and it looks absolutely beautiful. So look forward to that comparison once Doom has been ported to run on Linux. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video then please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and comment down below on what you think of the performance gap between Linux and Windows and you can also tell me if you'd like me to do this exact thing for another game like for instance Shadow of Mordor or Armor 3 or whatever you can come up with. Just leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching and peace!